In this video, we will be talking about Boba Fett, the legend behind the Mandalorian mask. If you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe. It really helps us out and it will show you more of our content as it is released. In a galaxy filled with memorable heroes and villains, few have captured the imaginations of Star Wars fans quite like Boba Fett. Despite his relatively limited screen time in the original trilogy, this enigmatic bounty hunter has become a cult icon, inspiring countless theories, backstories, and even his own series on Disney+. But who is the man behind the infamous Mandalorian armor? Let's delve into the rich tapestry of Boba Fett's origin and exploits, drawing from various expanded universe sources while injecting a dash of humor to keep things interesting. The Clone Origins Believe it or not, Boba Fett's story begins with the conception of the Grand Army of the Republic. You see, this formidable force was comprised entirely of clone troopers, all based on the genetic template of the legendary bounty hunter Jango Fett. And as an added bonus, Jango requested an unaltered clone for himself, a son, if you will. That clone was none other than Boba Fett. Now, imagine growing up as a clone of your dad. Talk about an unconventional family dynamic. Boba was raised on Kamino, a planet entirely devoted to cloning, which must have made for some interesting show-and-tell days at school. If there even was a school on a planet of clones, who knows? The Young Bounty Hunter Tragically, Django met his demise on Geonosis during the Battle of Geonosis, leaving young Boba without a father figure. But as they say, the student became the master. Boba took up his father's armor and chose to follow in his footsteps, becoming one of the most feared bounty hunters in the galaxy. In the expanded universe, we get a glimpse into Boba's formative years as a bounty hunter. Apparently, he spent some time on the planet Aurora, where he honed his skills and built his reputation. One can only imagine the shenanigans a preteen bounty hunter must have gotten himself into. Sorry, Mom. I can't take out the trash. I've got a mark to track down on N.A. Arshada. The infamous Sarlacc Pit. Of course, no discussion of Boba Fett would be complete without mentioning his, supposed, demise in Return of the Jedi. After a brief skirmish with Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, accidentally knocking him into the Sarlacc Pit on Tatooine. Now, for the uninitiated, the Sarlacc is essentially a massive, sentient plant-like creature that slowly digests its prey over a thousand years. Yeesh, talk about a rough way to go. But fear not, fellow Fett fans, for our beloved bounty hunter did not meet his end in that sandy gullet. Thanks to his awesome Mandalorian armor and sheer force of will, Boba managed to escape the Sarlacc's depths, setting up his eventual return in the expanded universe and perhaps even a future live-action appearance? A fan can dream. The Bounty Hunter's Code One of the things that make Boba Fett so intriguing is his unwavering commitment to the Bounty Hunter's Code. This guy is all business, never letting emotions or moral qualms get in the way of a job. Need someone tracked down and captured, or worse? Boba's your man, no questions asked, as long as you can meet his price, of course. It's this professionalism and ruthless efficiency that have earned him the respect and fear of his peers and targets alike. Though, one can't help but wonder if he ever took a job that was, shall we say, a bit beneath his pay grade. All right, Fett, we need you to track down and apprehend a runaway. Moisture Vaporator Salesman. He owes us big credits, and we want him alive for now. The Mandalorian Legacy. In the world of Star Wars, few cultures carry as much mystique and badassery as the Mandalorians. These fierce warriors, with their iconic armor and adherence to ancient codes, have become the stuff of legend. And Boba Fett is undoubtedly one of their most famous sons. Throughout the expanded universe, we learn more about Boba's connection to the Mandalorian Creed including his acquisition of the coveted armor and his interactions with other Mandalorian characters. It's a legacy steeped in honor, combat prowess, 
and a healthy dose of don't criff with us attitude. The Fett family business. As if being a clone of a renowned bounty hunter wasn't enough, Boba Fett's story takes another fascinating turn with the introduction of his daughter, Aelin Bell. In the expanded universe, we learn that Boba had a brief romantic liaison that resulted in a child, ensuring the Fett family business would continue. One can only imagine the family reunions. Hey, Dad, I tracked down and captured that smuggler you've been after for years. That's my girl. Here, have an EE. Three carbine rifle as a reward. Ah, uh, the joys of quality father-daughter time in the Fett household. The legend continues. Boba Fett's enduring popularity is a testament to the power of a great character design, coupled with just enough mystery to keep fans speculating for decades. From his infamous appearances in the original trilogy to his expanded exploits in novels, comics, and even his own show, this bounty hunter has cemented his place as a true Star Wars icon. And who knows? With the ever-expanding Star Wars universe, we may yet see Boba Fett embark on new adventures, tracking down marks across the galaxy and adding to his already legendary status. After all, as they say, he's no good to me dead. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this profile on Boba Fett. Please let us know in the comments who else you would like to see a profile made on. And don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.